Welcome to the Spamcast! Episode 31! Episode 31! 31 episodes! Holy smokes! Yeah, holy crap. Oh, <laughs> yes, wow. indeed. Right. Here we go. Right in the headphones. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Let's introduce ourselves. Who are you? Noel Thompson. Noel Thompson's here. Check. I, I'm Top of the Morning Jeff and I'm a Morning Pete. Top of the Morning top Jeff of the morning Top of the Morning Pete. <laughs> it's not our St. Patrick's Day nope. episode, but no, Top of the Morning. It's also not the morning, but yeah, that's okay. It's all right. We're good with that. Yeah. And I'm Olivia. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. How yeah. are we, team? Noel, how are really you? Really good. I'm sorry, what? Really good what? <laughs> really good up there. Up there. Nice. <laughs> Great. Everybody's in a good mood. I'm glad. Yes, I, I am with this guy by my side. Of course, I know. You had one week what, without him, and it's what like... if, if you know, he's not, not here? Like he never left. Who, Pete? Yeah. What oh, if he's come not on. Here? I've only missed one. Yeah. Come on, dude. You can do better than that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you, uh, you've missed more than you've me. You've missed, you've missed more than host. anyone when you went on vacation to Florida for 100 weeks. <laughs> not 100 weeks. It, it, I, I thought it was... Three weeks and 17 days, but it really, it really wasn't. <laughs> Three weeks and 17 days? I thought it was, but it wasn't. It seems like. Well, it was a long time. Oh, we missed you. For You're sure. back. We're yeah. back. Yeah. Everybody's done. The boys are back in town. Boom. Jeff and Pete are hugging right now. Jeff <laughs> so and Pete? It's sort of one-sided. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's get this track back on the good. tracks. Here okay. we go. Well, Jeff, how are you? What's going on? Uh, n- nothing much. Yeah? What's new in the world of Jeff? Nothing much. You had okay. Greek Easter, right? Oh, dude, I did. How was it? Awesome. Did you have a nice dinner with your family? Uh, what kind of meat did you have? Mm. Did you have lamb? Did you have ham? ham. Did you have bologna? Uh, not bologna. Did you have chicken was sandwich from Joe's? Joe's? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I, I was going through, but... Um, oh, I love yeah, Joe's. Uh, um, they do I, cater. Yeah, they do. Uh, yeah, but um, I actually had... Um, uh, Meatball sub. Uh, mm. No, it's lamb. Lamb. You did have lamb. Nailed First it. choice. <laughs> oh, God, it was, it was really good. Was it nice and tender? Bring some for the team. Uh, uh, I know, but um, it, it was good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. 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 It's it's made with food coloring. Yeah, nice. it's rainbow. It's oh. like all the colors. It's really cool. It's in the kitchen, but I think it's just for staff. Cake? What? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> okay. So who is our guest today? Pete. Everybody's pointing at Pete. Our guest today is. Is is Wendy J. Wiles. Wendy J. Wiles. <laughs> Not my middle name. <laughs> Our track. guests are excited to have Katie Sampson on the Stratcast That's today. Right. So we'll be looking forward to talking to her, a friend from Good Day, Maine. Awesome. Can't wait. Katie has uh, hung out with us before. Would Katie's been that? a friend to Strive for about a year or two. She, uh, two years ago, was our volunteer from WGME in regards to Strive Rocks weekend. <laughs> and she did several stories about the organization before the event. And then she volunteered all day um, at the event, came back, um, kicked off the nighttime event, and then came back the next morning yeah. and helped us pass out the awards. And somewhere in between that weekend, she even found time for uh, something special, right. a monumental occasion in her life. And you'll hear about that coming up. That's right. I forgot Pass. about that. That was really fun. So it was a very busy weekend for her that year. So that was awesome. So can't wait to chat with her. Guys, anything else you want to chat about in our intro before we move right along to the interview? Not really. Not really? Nope. What's new in the last, what's new in life? Of oh, yeah. What's Jeff, new in life what's new with all? NPT? Um, put it on. Nice day out. Not really. It's kind of raining. Raining. <laughs> yeah. Anything but new and exciting with you? I'm not blue. Correct. At least you're not blue. You, what did you do over the weekend? I... Um, oh, projects for the team. Practice for the Special Olympics? Yeah. Awesome. What events are you doing? Uh, the shot put, um, 200 and 400, please. Wow. That's exciting. And speaking of Special Olympics, our own producer, Susie, uh, I think took home a couple of ribbons, That's including right. a second place finish in last week's uh, track and yeah. field event. What so. team is she on? I think she's an uh, individual competitor. That's right. Oh, yeah. Congrats, Susie. So, Thank you. I saw, I saw another at Bonnie Eagle. Great. Great. But I didn't see Susie. Susie was there. 
Oh, I see her, baby. Oh, she was tearing see up the track. I see She's going too fast. A speed yeah. demon. She's I probably. I saw Evelyn. You blink and you miss her. So. Yeah. All right. Well, glad we checked in with the team. And when we come back, we'll give a little bio of Katie Sampson. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back, and here's Noel with the bio for Katie Sampson. Katie Sampson started at CBS 13. Exactly. Uh, exactly five years ago in April 2014, and joined Good Day Maine as a morning anchor in December of 2016. In 2015, Katie was a part of the award-winning team conference coverage coverage of the deadly deadly tent tent collapse. That's bad. Yeah. In the in Lancaster, Lancaster, New Hampshire, she also covered multiple blizzards that hit Maine in the. Winter of 2014, Katie graduated from Suffolk University in Boston with a bachelor degree in broadcasting journalism. She worked as a reporter in Topeka, Kansas, Kansas for two years before Moving to Portland, Katie is a long-time friend from Strive. She joined us last year doing the all of the media coverage for Strive Rocks. Leading up the to the event, she joined us during the day and night time. Portions. Portions. And uh, even can come back early the next morning to announce the fundraising total. We are excited to catch up with her. All right, please welcome Katie, Katie Sampson. Sampson. Hey. Welcome, Katie. Thank you so much. It's so exciting to be here. Thanks for coming I'm on. Pumped. It's so good to see you. It's the first time I've been on a podcast. <gasps> I'm so excited. We're and honored. Yeah, it, I've always wanted to do a podcast, so this is so cool. Well, you picked a great one. You picked the best yes. one. We don't say so ourselves. Yes. So, Jeff, you have the first question, so hit it off. Welcome back, uh, Katie Simpson. <laughs> How does it feel to be back at Strive? It feels amazing <laughs> because I wasn't able to be part of Strive Rocks this year, but I was last year. Were you there at Strive Rocks? Jeff wasn't, but Noel was, right? Noel was there. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it was so much fun. We raised so <laughs> much money, and I just met the most amazing people and got to, like, dance all night yeah. and, like, <laughs> hula hoop yeah. and listen to bands and everything. It was so much fun. So um, love you guys, yeah. and it's a pleasure to be back. And we're happy well, thanks to for see coming you. in. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having me. Noel, you're next. It's about work. What time do you have to be up for work in the morning? That's a great question, and people are kind of shocked when they hear the answer. Oh. 2.30 a.m. <gasps> That's your wake-up time? That's, That's what time, time I have to be in. There. My alarm goes off. Well, I set like four alarms. I'm one of those people. So I set an alarm for 1.35 a.m., 1.40 a.m., 1.45 a.m., oh and 1.50 a.m. Usually I'm up at like 1.52. <laughs> oh and then I literally just shower, yeah. throw on the dress, and then yeah. run into work wow. and then take care of this stuff there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's early because we're on at 4.30. Good Day Maine starts at 4.30 on CBS 13. So have to go in and, you know, do this stuff and write questions, look over notes, read the scripts, yeah. all of that. So it's uh, two hours of prep and then we're on the air. Wow. So yeah, 2.30 in the morning. It's crazy. I go to bed at 5, yeah, I was gonna ask 5 or 6. Sleep. Wow. 
I know. Is it harder in the summer to do that when it's later? Yes. Later? So like everybody's so excited that the sun's <laughs> yeah, out at eight o'clock and I'm in bed. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Um, resenting that the sun is out. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but it's nice to have the day after work, right? Yes, you know, that's true. afternoons are great, and you can go to the bank and you yeah, know do things open. that. Yeah. Um, but it's a weird world that you live in when yeah. you do morning news for sure. Wow. <laughs> can you, could you wake up at two at one o'clock in the morning every day? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to the airport really early, maybe, uh, or had to get up early for something? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, think about that every day. <laughs> yeah, just every day. Yeah. Do you, what time do you wake up on the weekend? Same. That's the weird part, is like yes. you transition back to normal, right. or you try to. Friday nights, it's like, woo, I'm up till nine, yeah, you know? <laughs> and then, but, and then Sunday night, you go back to trying right. to go to bed early, but... You kind of find out what works for you. That's what everybody just figures out. Some people nap during the day, yeah. during the week. I don't. I just want to feel like a semi-normal yeah. person <laughs> and go to bed and get my eight hours. Yeah. But, but it's fun. It could be worse. For sure. Jeff? What is your favorite part of uh, being on the news? I think being able to tell stories and connect with people, especially when I was reporting, I got to do so many stories and meet so many people. And and even now, you know, I get to do stuff like this and I get to be part of incredible events and meet you guys and uh, being able to tell those stories that maybe wouldn't otherwise be told or for, give people a voice that wouldn't otherwise have a voice. So it's pretty cool to have that sort of impact. Definitely. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no? What is the hardest part of being a news anchor? I guess besides waking up. <laughs> besides the hours. No, I, I think that that's a tough one, but I would probably say that you, when it's live TV, you only get one chance right. to say something correct, you know, get it right, get the facts right, pronounce someone's name correctly. Right. So there's a lot, you know, that goes into it. Um, so you just kind of have to, your, your brain does a lot of work, you know, kind of more than you might expect because you're thinking the whole time, you know, what camera am I on? Yeah. You know, what am I saying? Is it, is it the right thing? Yeah. So there's just a lot going on at once. So that's something that when I first started anchoring on Good Day Maine that I realized like, wow, this is a lot, you know, this is a lot of work. Yeah. So, um but something that you, you work on, and the more you do it, the easier it gets, and you get into that routine. But yeah, just just trying to make sure you get everything right the first time, because it's live. Do you, think, do you think, guys, we could do this show? <laughs> yeah, do you think one, we could do our show live? No. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely could, but it's hard. It takes practice, for sure. Yeah, we probably could, it would just need, need like a rating or something on our yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not always appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> right, a little disclaimer yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Not appropriate for all audiences. Yeah. All right, Jeffrey, Jeff. you're up. Good comedy, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Top of the morning, Jeff. Top of the morning, Jeff. Introduce job. yourself as to it. Well, uh, what has uh, been your favorite story that you covered? This is literally the hardest question really? because I've done so many stories that I am proud of. Um, but I would say, mainly, again, as far as um, my favorite part of being on the news, my favorite stories are the ones where I can give people a voice and people who, you know, reach out who say, you know, I need help or I need someone to advocate for me because I have a problem, yeah. um, things like that. I would definitely say those are my favorite stories. It's so hard on the spot, though, because yeah, we know. cover so many There's different so many. stories. Yeah. I know. But especially when we talk, when we, we, we get to meet so many people, but especially those characters that, you know, <laughs> kind of get people to smile or to laugh yeah. or just to feel something, you know, those stories are really nice. Yeah. And when you can do a story and then get a result, you know, yeah. it, it's, it's really great when you can get the word out about a GoFundMe page for a family or things like that and then make a difference in that way is wonderful. So those are definitely my favorite types of stories for sure. That's so cool. What about the other type? It seems like there's a lot of sad, yeah, perfect those are, news those lately. Are really how, do you, how do you handle that? It's, it's so hard um, because you have to share all of the news with sure. people, right. the sad and the good. And um, you kind of have to block it out and try not to get emotional, you know, in the moment. Um, but oftentimes you will see the good that comes out of those tragedies and, and the really sad stories. 
and whether it's a local story and you see this community coming together to rally around these families you know that are experiencing the unthinkable um, and then you see these national international horrible stories but you see people stepping up in those situations too so at least personally I just try to kind of grab onto those little yeah. little lights you know in the darkness and and just know that there's still some good in the world because it can be really yeah. tough yeah. I know people watch it you know they're like I can't watch the news yeah. because it's so depressing you know but we try to get out there you know the the little good bits as well so, Absolutely. yeah that was a very positive answer yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nolly you're up next right yeah. did you always know you wanted to work in I didn't. Um, I always had an interest in writing, um, but I thought that maybe I wanted to do more newspaper or magazine writing. And then uh, more so in high school, I took a radio writing class and I was like, oh, this is different and interesting. It's more conversational and I like this style. And I just was watching the news one day and was like, oh, wait, that's kind of like what I was just doing in my class. And I think that's really interesting and I want to give it a shot. And so I kind of just decided that's the direction I was going to go. And then I went to college for broadcast journalism and I loved it. And it was just such great timing for me to be able to discover that I really enjoyed it. I was in the right major at the right school and we had a student newscast there and it just all really worked out. So that's I'm great. very lucky that the timing worked out like that. Good way to package it all together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Jeff. Yeah. If you weren't, if you weren't on the news, what would you do uh, for a job? I think if I wasn't on the news, I would have to do some sort of job that worked with animals Ooh. because I love animals so much and we do a lot of work with the local shelters and it's wonderful. Yeah. And if there was if there was an opportunity to do something like that, I think that's probably what I'd do. I have two cats and they're super fluffy. Do you guys have pets? Yeah. What do you have? I used to have, um, I do have toy for poodles. You poodles? Your house? Yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Do you have any pets? Uh, I do not. Do your no. parents have pets? At my parents' house. Yeah. At your parents' yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. So my cats are at my mom's house too. Um, mittens I adopted when I was in Kansas, and he's black and white. He has little white paws. And then Teddy Bear is a ragdoll cat. He just like lays in your. He's so fluffy and just lays <laughs> in your lap. That. So I digress. But that's what I would want. To do. I love animals, and I think that'd be really fun. So yeah. that's probably what I would do. I do have a. A question about Kansas. Ask oh, question about yes, Kansas. please do. Are you going to ask yeah. her about Dorothy? No. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> about a TV show. Okay, go ahead. No. Do you know the, um, the place they um, small the show was filmed in um, Kansas? Was do you that? know what part? I don't know. Oh, I'll have to look it up. I lived in Topeka, which is the capital, and it's yeah. in like the northeast corner of Kansas. And uh, my my station that I worked at was literally in a cornfield. Oh my <laughs> like, gosh! It was stereotypical wow. Kansas, Kansas, what you would think of. Oh. But I was there for two years, and uh, and then moved to Maine almost exactly five years ago. I know we saw yeah, that. Yeah, isn't that so crazy? Cool. So it's been great. Yeah. So we'll we'll look up. If yes. Smallville was filmed for sure. My sister told me. Your sister told me that. All right. I think you're up next. At this one. Did you do, do you get recognized? recognized around the town? Occasionally, yes. Um, a lot of times people are just kind of in their own zone, yeah. and um, I don't necessarily get stopped everywhere I go or anything. But oftentimes at the grocery store, yeah. you know, I don't know. You just kind of pass a lot of people, and they'll be like, hmm. I know you. Sometimes people won't actually say, you know, hey, are you on the right. news? But they'll kind of just give you weird looks. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't think they're trying to be rude. I think they yeah. might just, it's like a familiar face, yeah, you know? And sometimes they can't even pinpoint exactly right. how they know you. Right. Um, but yeah, occasionally, and it's always nice. I love hearing from from viewers nice. and and meeting people. Actually, I met someone. I saw someone from here at Hannaford. Really? And I'm trying to remember who it was. I'll think about it yeah. and let you know. That's yeah, so funny. yeah, because they were like Stry Rocks. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was great. That was just a few months ago. That's so, awesome. so yeah, occasionally I do. I love that, Jeffrey. You're up. 
what is what is your advice advice for people who want to to, to be on the news yes mm. um, I would definitely say if you're not in college or college aged yet do some research on colleges that have really good journalism and broadcast journalism programs definitely do as many internships as possible and reach out to other people who are in the business who maybe can mentor you and meet as many people, network as much as you can, and work really hard and know that, I mean, anyone can do it. Yeah. You know, you just have to work at it. Yeah. And, and too. Yeah, <laughs> totally. You guys are killing it. Yeah. yeah doing great at the radio game. So Except far. for one fact check. Smallville, I just looked, was filmed oh. in Vancouver. Oh, <laughs> so no, it doesn't take place yeah. in Kansas, though. Yeah, maybe it takes I place. I could take place it in might, Kansas. Okay, maybe, that, we'll, maybe that's it. All right, we'll do more okay. research. Okay, okay, we'll get back to that. <laughs> yeah, next I get your back straight. <laughs> <laughs> Only one take. No, no exactly. <laughs> All right, you're. I'll put this up. You are involved in a lot of local community events. What does it mean to you to be able to give back to to your community? Well done. Um, it means a lot, and I think my favorite part is just being able to meet so many cool people that, I mean, you guys have done way more than I have. You've given back to your community way more than I have, and being able to work with you guys and meet you guys is wonderful, and just being like a very, very small part of events like Strive Rocks is so cool, and you were so appreciative, and I was so appreciative to be able to be part of it, um, but, but really just meeting everybody, um, so meeting so many new people with so many different backgrounds, and learning from them, I think, is the biggest thing, and learning about the people in your community that you might be doing stories about, yeah. you know, and um, there, there's just, there's nothing better than that. There's so much to gain from, from having conversations like this and doing stuff like yeah. this. It's so cool. Yeah. Well, thanks so, again thank for being you. here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got a breaking update. update. Oh, breaking update! Yes, uh, it is in yes! fact uh, based in Kansas. <laughs> All right, filmed in Vancouver, based in Kansas. Did it say where in Kansas it's based? The name of the town is Smallville. Smallville. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I, think, I don't know if that's real or fake, though. I'm guessing that might I be a fictional town. Yeah. Oh, bummer. I sh I have never watched, so I should have known it was Smallville. Yeah, fictional town, town, Smallville, Kansas. Wow. Where Clark Kent becomes before he comes becomes Superman. So. Very good, good yeah. memory. What, what about Metropolis? Okay, different. I think that's <laughs> sort of like New York. Yeah, that's you all I got for Smallville. Smallville. <laughs> that's okay. not the first time he's brought up Smallville. Yeah, Noel's our pop, pop culture guy. Isn't the guy in Smallville mm -hmm. Dean from Mean Gr uh, from Gilmore Girls? Oh, he was on Cheaper from the Desert. Cheaper oh. by the Desert. Oh, was I he know. also in Gilmore, was Girls? He on Gilmore Girls? Do you know? Too? Don't know. Okay, we'll have to uh, check uh, that I'll out. Go back to <laughs> I'll go back to Wikipedia. Yeah. I think it is, but I could be wrong. And the dad, who was in the original Dukes of Hazard. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Of Hazzard. You All right. really go way back. I'm Jeff, done, I think, fact check. Okay. <laughs> Jeff has one more One more real question. Oh, good. Yeah. Ooh, surprise. Surprise question. You're, no. Yeah, you are. You are one part of a new show. Online. Um, online. Can you tell us about it? Live at 13? Yeah. Yes. yes. So we are so excited about Live at 13. It's our Facebook Live show. Again, live. Yeah. So no. <laughs> one take. Out, yeah, one take. Um, and that was basically, I mean, everybody's on Facebook these days. And so it was just sort of another way for us to connect with viewers, not just by posting <laughs> links to stories, but actually pretty much building a newscast specifically for Facebook. Yeah. And what's so great about it and unique about it is that as we're going through stories and talking, you know, up to people, they can ask us questions, you know, mid show and we can answer them oh, wow. and we can talk with people and get their opinions about stories. So we try to choose stories based on what we think people will really want to talk with us about. So yeah. if it's a controversial story, you know, they're building this here, but some people don't like it, you know, what do you think? Yeah. Or, you know, today we had baby goats in pajamas <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it was just like fun, yeah. you know? Um, and, and obviously we talk about the weather and, and, and a lot of stuff like that. So uh, we're super excited about Live at 13. We've been doing it for, I think, a few months now. And I think it's been going really well. Um, 
and it's a chance for us to also kind of roll up our sleeves and have a little more casual, fun show uh, rather than, you know, you know, the strict kind of newscast that is pretty rigid. Uh, We can have a little more fun with it, which I like. So we've been really enjoying it. It's me, David Singer, and Lexi O'Connor, and then and we kind of rotate if people are off and stuff. Um, but we really like it. So thank you for asking about that. Live at 13 yeah, every nice. weekday okay. morning at 8.30 on Ooh, Facebook. We'll plug that. <laughs> every weekday morning, 8.30. Great. All right, and now it is time for well, the lightning, lightning round. The theme? Lightning oh, round, my goodness. Down, down to the lightning round. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Perfect. Time right. for the lightning round. And I think Noel is Noel's kicking first. off. You ready? Yep. Maine or New, New Hampshire? These are really hard because I'm <laughs> from New Hampshire, but I live in Maine. I'm going to go with Maine because I love living here. Good answer. Jeff? In, studio? in the studio, you're, or, out, you're out in the field. So, in studio or out in the field? That's another really tough one. Um, I'm going to go with in studio because that's what I currently do and I love my job. And you don't have to be standing out there when it's 20 below and yeah, a blizzard. Or it's, or it's, or it. <laughs> it's a big perk. <laughs> Pre-taping or going live? Definitely going live because there's such a thrill yeah. when you're live and you have the pressure and everything. There's sort of that adrenaline. So definitely going live. I think we got to do a live show. Oh, at some boy. Point. <laughs> yes, definitely. Buckle, you're oh, you guys will be great. You guys are pros. This is great. I'd be nervous. <laughs> Jeff? Favorite? Vacation spot. Another great question. I was just in Florida and it was absolutely wonderful, but I think I would go with Mexico. Ooh, that's a hot destination. Mm-hmm. You want to go to Mexico? What part in Florida? Ooh. I was just in Clearwater Beach uh-huh. on the West Coast, on the Gulf side, and it was awesome. Have you ever been there? No. You've been to Florida though, right? Yeah. Where Deep have you been? To Disney. Oh, to nice. Disney. All right, you was just there. Uh, and that's the, uh, I would go to Florida as well. That's right. Where do you go? Uh, I, I went to Port Charlotte, Florida. Yes, oh, Port where's Charlotte. that? Do you know any surrounding areas? I'm not, um, what city is it close to? Uh, it's, it's close to Tampa, uh, close to Tampa Bay. Tampa oh, Bay. Right. So I flew into Tampa to go to Clearwater Beach, so it must be in the same yeah, same area. Yeah. I was actually born in Merritt Island, Florida, and wow. lived there until I was six. Huh. But I grew up in New Hampshire. Yeah. So. I've never been to Florida. <laughs> What? I know, I guess I gotta go. You have to go, especially now, because it's so dreary. I know, Portsmouth is in New Hampshire, yes. Thank you for telling me. All right, you're you're up. Early bird or night owl? I know. Oh my gosh, I can barely make it up past eight. So, definitely early bird. Jeff? Favorite restaurants in Portland. Oh my god, why are you yelling at me? <laughs> this is so hard. There's so many good I restaurants. Know. I always like to see what people's answers are. Okay, if I many. had to choose, I would say Street and Company. Yeah, that's it's a great one. It's so good, and I love seafood, and I love pasta, yeah. and it's like, you can't go wrong. But I love, I mean, it's so hard to narrow it down. There's yeah. so many great restaurants. Four Street's amazing. I mean, I can't even, yeah. I can't even, I don't yeah. even want to single one out yeah. because they're so good. But yeah, Street and Company, whew. Yeah, I need to go back there soon. No? Yeah. Oh, question. F- <laughs> favorite main beach. Ooh, okay. Well, I live in South Portland, so I love Willard Beach because it's such a great neighborhood beach. I was there yesterday, I went for a little run down oh. to the beach and it was so pretty. So I'd probably go with that, but the beaches in York, I mean Long Sands, mm-hmm. it's just gorgeous there. Yeah. And the water and the sand and everything. So I mean, it's hard to again choose yeah. one beach in Maine. I've also heard that Popham is gorgeous. So I haven't nice. been there. That's kind of on my bucket list for this summer is to go check out Popham Beach. It's great. Yes. So but Willard is is my little beach that yeah. I like to go to, so I love it. That's perfect. Jeffrey? If you could uh, go anywhere in the world. Uh, where? Where? Uh, where w- would you go? That's a great question. Again, so many places that I could think of, but I really want to go to Ireland yeah. because I'm Irish and I still have some very distant extended family there that my mom went and visited when she was in her early 20s. And I would love to just go to our little 
county that we're from and, and go check it out and kind of like reconnect with my roots and I think that would be really really yeah. cool maybe that's why Jeff introduced himself when we started the show with as as top, top of, of the morning, morning. Oh, yeah. 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 top of the morning sure. to you you know Jeff Peterson my co-anchor and I on St. Patrick's Day we ended up on one of those anchor clips on like Jimmy Fallon <laughs> oh really because we said top of the morning to you oh. and they said they said Everybody. oh it's if, if a news anchor isn't saying top of the morning Aww. to you on St. Patty's Day, they're not doing it right. Aww. And uh, yeah, that was well, nice. That's so exciting. Well, blooper there, but it was actually fun. We were able to laugh about it. <laughs> well, I haven't been to Florida, but I have been to Ireland. So I'm you have? Oh. Yeah. So maybe I'm doing travel wrong. <laughs> was it beautiful? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. So oh, it was amazing. <laughs> All right. I'll make it happen for yeah. sure. No? Um, Invisibility. Uh, Invisibility or ability to read minds that is such a crazy question i i feel like invisibility because couldn't i just like sneak on a plane and go to (laughs) ireland (laughs) and i feel like sometimes you don't want to know what people are thinking so i would say invisibility for sure me too 100 percent jeff uh uh cat cat person cat person or dog person (laughs) <laughs> I don't want to offend my <laughs> two fur babies, so I'm going to have to say cat person, but I truly am equal. I love yeah. cats and dogs equally, and I can't wait. I don't have a dog right now, but I grew up with one, Shadow, oh. and I, I can't wait to get a dog someday. Yeah. We're waiting until we get a bigger place, but I love dogs. Yeah. I love them all. They're so cute. What about you guys? Are you a cat person or a dog No, are you a cat person or a dog person? A dog person. A you like dogs. Person. Yeah, you have your poodles. Yeah, that's right. Do you what like... You, Jeff? But I, I used to have two, but one died. Oh, oh that happens, sorry. yeah. One poodle, and my my sister is living with my parents as well. Does she have a dog, too? Named Oscar. 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 Oh, that's, that's cute. Fun. Do you like cats or dogs Not better? Um, I, I kind of like uh, chihuahuas. You like chihuahuas? Oh, yeah. we have a uh, one of my coworkers at work has a chihuahua named Taco, oh. and I joke yeah. because one time yeah. I like went to go pet him really quickly, and he like nipped at me, so I joke that he's a terror dog, <laughs> but he's actually really nice. <laughs> I know, but I just want to sneak in quickly before you said that you're waiting till we got a bigger place, and we were talking before we started recording of you came to Strive Rocks and spent so much time with us and were there during the daytime, and then came back at night, and came back in the next morning, but something really big happened in between that, yes. which was... I got engaged. Hey. She got engaged hey. Stride Rocks hey. weekend. I know. Yeah. I'll never forget Stride Rocks yeah. weekend. <laughs> 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 yeah. That was awesome. He was trying to, he wanted to propose that weekend, and was trying to figure out, you know, yes. when, when we almost blew it for him. <laughs> no, 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 but it was really funny. Um, but then after we left on Sunday, we had the great news about Stride Rocks, and all the money we uh-huh. raised, and then we were down downtown in Portland and just on the cobblestone streets Aww. of Exchange Street and uh, he got down on one knee Aww. and it was very very sweet. I know we couldn't believe it we saw it on Twitter and we were like she was just I know when, I when like, did she have time for that? I, see this. I know it was, so, it was so funny I know it's not great fun. way to end the weekend for sure favorite junk food oh, oh, oh yeah. sorry yes. Yes. Back, yes. To back on track <laughs> sorry um ha- hands down ice cream obsessed mm-hmm. addicted can't stop eating it. <laughs> Love it so much. So happy that uh, Willard Scoops is almost open in South, or it's right. been opening a little bit. Reds is officially open. Yep. So, oh my gosh. It's going to be a big summer. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Jeff? Go ahead. I, I got it. Oh, okay. So uh, tell us your best joke. Oh, gosh, guys. <laughs> putting me on the but I know. If you can't oh think gosh. of one, it's Let me okay. think. Let me think for like two seconds. Oh, I need to just like have a joke in my back pocket <laughs> for <laughs> occasions like this. Um, shoot. Uh, oh, oh, oh. What's the... Oh, gosh. I'm going to butcher this joke. <laughs> um, knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Orange. <laughs> Orange. Orange. Oh, true. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Um, Orange. I know, Orange. I, I know this one. Okay. Oh, no, I've already been <laughs> 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 Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Banana. Banana who? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Banana. Who's there? Banana who? 
Knock, knock. Who's B- there? Banana. <laughs> I'm the Who's Banana, banana Hill? <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Banana. Orange. Okay. Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? Oh! 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 We did it, we did it, we did it. it, was oh, it. I did it. Yes, you did. Worst <laughs> joke teller <laughs> ever. That was perfect. Oh, that was I love that. Last week's joke was, uh, why did the hot dog lose the race? I don't, I don't know why. Because he couldn't catch, couldn't catch up. Oh, catch up. Catch up. Yeah. You should have like an <laughs> instrument in here where you yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, so now we have our our, our new uh, lightning round second question where we ask Nolan and Jeff to say the first thing that comes to mind. One word. One word. Ooh, and you choose. And then you have to choose between the two words. <laughs> okay, but you guys have to say it at the ready? same time, okay? Ready? Yes. All right, so think of one word. And don't make it somebody's name. So just think of a random word. All right, ready? One, two, three. Nick. Ham or Nick? <laughs> Don't look at somebody's name. And then I have to choose. Yeah. I can't Do you choose ham or Nick? Nick? And it's probably Nick Carter. Nick Carter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nick Carter. Nick Carter. Is, 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 I'll yeah. go with Nick Carter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's my man. Nice. Nice. That was also yeah. perfectly indicative yeah. of what they think yeah. about yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. When in doubt, Nick Carter. Can yeah. I have a ham sandwich Nick with Nick Carter? Yes. Does that work? Yes. Okay, perfect. I also made a. A poem about <laughs> about yes. him. You yes. did. Yes. 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 Hey, that's impressive. I'm not a good poet, so I find that very impressive. Soon we're gonna have him recite the full thing on the podcast. Yeah. The original. I like poem. that. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to bring it back. Okay. Awesome. Well, Wait, thank, thank you, you, Katie. So much, Katie, uh, for coming you. on the Strivecast. We'll see you soon. Yes. All thank right. you so much. We'll be right blast. back. Webcast is brought to you by Joe's Breakfast Sandwiches. Joe's Breakfast Sandwiches. Yum, perfect to Keeps eat. Keeps us running. <laughs> yeah. Joe's Breakfast Sandwiches. Perfect to eat while you're up early watching Good Day Maine, right? What kind did you have? What kind of breakfast sandwich did you have from Joe today? Uh, um, I actually had a, a, a croissant. Croissant. Ooh, it was on a croissant. Ooh, egg and cheese on a croissant. Yeah. Actually, it was sausage. Sausage, sausage. egg and cheese. Yum. Yum. I had bacon on mine. It was great. I had ham. Oh, wow. We really got a full spread. And cheese. Of and Joe's egg. breakfast sandwiches. Fried egg, just right? Yeah. Noel, unfortunately, you keep missing when Joe <laughs> drops them off. Noel is looking under the table to see where Joe might be. Joe already dropped them off, and we already ate them. So we I ate yours, too. Yeah, sorry. Yours is extra good. <laughs> uh, really cheesy. Yeah. It was good. So thanks so much to Joe, as always, for being a consistent wonderful sponsor of the strive the guy does everything he does everything whatever sandwiches you need joe can do it also does catering so but again if you're if you would like to advertise on the strivecast your ad could be right here where joe's breakfast sandwich was just now 25 dollars. 25 bucks excellent deal excellent deal. or we can work out a deal with you to potentially you could be our sponsor that gets us onto the radio <gasps> so exciting so if you want to talk to us about advertising on the strivecast Email us at strivecast at pslstrive.org. But for now, thanks, Joe. Some exciting news, though. We do have our first paid ad, which that's will be coming right. soon. So On stay the next tuned. Episode, I believe. So that's exciting. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Who Bye, Joe. We see you? Okay. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Joe. We're back and it's time for the first in of the week. 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 Waka waka week. Week. Waka waka week. Waka waka week. Waka 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 week. Waka waka waka, 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 waka week. Right, right, right. Question right. of the waka waka week. And the question of the waka waka week is so we just talked to Katie, had a great interview, and Katie is somebody who is on TV every day, so she has to look camera ready. So the question of the week is, how do you get yourselves to look ready to be on camera? What are your tips to Dress look good? Dress appropriately. Dress appropriately. What does that look like? Clean your body. Clean your body. Uh, and shave. Shave. Nice clothes. Brush your teeth and do your hair. Brush your teeth, do your hair, put nice clothes on. Yeah. Love it. Nailed it. Yeah, those are great tips, guys. Anything else to look camera ready? Oh, yes. Yes. Always talk clean. Yeah, don't be inappropriate. Yeah, especially if you're going to be on the news or right. interviewed. No cursing, right? Yeah. No being dirty. Why are you pointing at Pete like he curses all the time? Oh, I I had to hear him in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you hear me in the shower. That's trouble. How do you hear Pete in the shower? You don't live with him. Uh, you don't uh, live with him. Actually, when Pete's in the shower, I... I, 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 I hear him doing 
The F word and the epic word. No. Just <laughs> taking a shower, getting camera ready, swearing my head off. Swearing, every, swearing every, it every, off. every morning, you know. That's just Why are you saying that? None of that is true. Uh, yeah, I know, but I, 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 I think that's what you do, Jeff. Mm. No, I do not. Ooh. Are you yeah, swearing in the shower? Do. I think you're the one no, I do not. If only you had a mini tape recorder where you could tape right. record someone in the shower. Oh. Yeah, that'd be you. Yeah. Oh, God. I think we may have gone down this road in the past. We have. Yeah. No, but I'm not picking that up again. Okay. Yeah, it's All right, we'll just leave Jeff. it there. Though. Yeah. But I do not swear in the shower. I really don't say anything in the yeah. shower. Yeah, a place yeah, of silent I don't, I don't say. I don't even sing. No. no. I sing. I'm not going to lie. I don't. Got How about you? Solo. Sing in the shower? Yes or no? No, I don't. No? You, I'll bet you do. You definitely do. I would say you probably talk to yourself in the shower, though, Noel. No, we don't. You have some good conversations in there. I do in my head. Yeah. Good arguments going yeah. on in the shower. No, I, sure. that's why I do my best work, thinking. Mm. Good strive ideas. Lots of ideas. Yeah. Whitney well, does. Whitney does. Sing in the shower, Sing Whitney? In the shower. No, I think a lot in the shower. You know, I come in here in the morning sometimes, like, I thought about this yeah, in the shower. Yeah, she does say that, yeah. Susie C? Singing in the shower? Yes. I'll bet. Is. I'll bet. Because Backstreet Boys all day. You know why? Why? Only you hear. Because sometimes I do sing because I want to sing to my boyfriend. Mm. Uh. Gotcha. And my boyfriend is Noel. Mm-hmm. I think it's Jeff, right? Oh! <laughs> oh. No. Shots fired yeah, here at the shotgun. Noel, because Noel is my... All right, let's, okay, let's, let's focus on the Let's talk singing about in the that. Shower. All right, Ryan, over Ryan. to you. Singing in the shower? I'm obsessed. No. Nope. No. Nope. Ryan just thinking in the shower? Yeah, yeah. me too. All right, so it's a pretty even split. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got from how to get camera ready to do you sing in the shower or not for That's question of the week. Two in one yeah, questions party. of the week. <laughs> so that was a good, good one. Good work. All right, we'll be right back. Drivecast is brought to you by... Listeners like you. Listeners like... Pam. Pam. Pam Pete. Shout out to Pam in South Portland for being a weekly listener of this Drivecast. We appreciate you always tuning in and giving us some great feedback on, you know, our segments and our questions. So thanks so much to Pam. You are a wonderful fan of ours. This is the original Pam, not yeah. our friend Pam that works at Build Bear, <laughs> who's also hopefully a listener. But, Definitely. Um, Big fan of the Strivecast, Build a Bear. Long time <laughs> listener. One, one time emailer. One so. time. That's right. Thanks to Pam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Pam. All right, we're back, and it's time for the... Words of Wisdom. Words of Wisdom, Pete. Words of Wisdom. Words of Wisdom. You guys go from neither one of you talking to both talking at the same time. la da da I missed that. la da 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 Wisdom Black Eyed Peas. I like Welcome to the Wisdom. I like Welcome, welcome to the Wisdom. Wisdom. We've got fun and knowledge. Wisdom. Wisdom. All right, here we go. All right, so our Words of Wisdom topic this week is, you know, keeping it in the TV family. Katie has to go on TV almost every day and be live in front of thousands of viewers. So Hundreds of thousands. Hun- excuse me, hundreds of thousands of viewers. So our Words of Wisdom topic is how do you guys not get nervous if you're going to do public speaking or if you're going to be on TV? How do you stay calm and not be nervous? Find a target. Find a target. What do you mean by that? Find a target to focus at Ooh. and do it up. So if you're doing a live audience, look out and find somebody and yeah, I'll focus pic- on them? I'll picture them having a party. Yeah. Picture them having a party? Nice. I'll picture someone in a potato. <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean? Then do it out like that. What, what type mean? of potato? Yeah, what kind of potato? Any kind. Baked potato? Yeah, a uh, Joe Pesci potato. Joe, Joe Pesci, Pesci potato. potato. All right. Jeffrey, <laughs> over to you. How do you not get nervous, Jeff? Um, I don't get uh, very uh, nervous because I, I stay calm mm-hmm. and I, I let everything come to me. Ooh, let everything come to me. Clear mind, right? Yeah. Are you very zen when you're doing public speaking? Yes. Yeah, I love it. 
If you, how do you, what if you were really nervous? Like, what about at your graduation when you, there was hundreds of people out there and you had to give a speech? How did, did you just never get nervous? Yeah. Were you calm yes. then? Yes, I was. Nice. Do you remember what he was like at your graduation, Noel? Was he nervous? Um, not for the speeches, but he did a little bit throw up in his hand <laughs> before going down the aisle. No, he did not. Uh, I, yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> I kind of remember that now. Yeah, I got a few lot. You were nervous then. Yes, I was. Oh nervous. my god. So that's your words of wisdom is just you yes. know, throw up in puke a little hand. bit in your hand and it's all good. In a trash bag. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Great. In a trash bag, I, I threw up. How so you fellow had to um, help. He had to help him. She had to help him, yeah. Who did? Oh. Wow. I'm sorry. Shout out to Heather Farrow if yeah. you're listening. Sorry, that's it. Yeah, I haven't seen her for so long. Well, maybe we could call her an interviewer. Yeah, that would be fun. She's working at a program at uh, Georgia Tech University, oh, cool. I believe. That's a post-secondary program for people um, with intellectual disabilities. So. She is an FOS. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Friend of Stride. Friend of Stride. Love it. Well, that was very interesting. I learned something I did not know about the first ever Stride U graduation. Jeff got a little sick. Yes. Well, just temporary. Just it's all good. Yeah, he nailed his speech. I'm he sure. leaned up on the podium like he was a politician for years. He put his little I did my sick hand, hand on it. You did your hand poem at graduation? Yeah. Amazing. Uh, so did you? One day we got to get There's you to do a recitation. Me. Yeah, that was There's not at graduation. That no. was another public speaking event. Hmm. That was a funeral. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, glad we did words of wisdom and we will be right back. Yeah. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Okay. Let's do it. Let's wrap it up. Let's do it. Let's wrap it up. How about Wreck It Ralph? All right, it is time to Woo, wrap here we it go. up. And good show, guys. Yeah. Good work. Thank you. A lot of energy today. It yeah. Wrap it up, yes. We've covered a lot of things. Funerals, <laughs> vomit, and that was just in the last segment. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much to our friend Katie Sampson for coming on the Strivecast and being a wonderful friend of Strive. She is neither of those two things, <laughs> funerals or vomit. That's right. All sugar, spice, and everything nice. So right. thank you to Katie. Great, great interview. Um, and as always, thank you to our producing team, Susie and Whitney. You guys did a fabulous job booking Thanks, the guests Kira. and going through our checklist of segments. Thank you for keeping us on track. Yeah, good job with that today, yeah, keeping, us, keeping us in line. Thank you. Uh, yes. Thank you so much to our engineer, Ryan, as always, for putting the show together and the making us sound. Bro ever. Yeah, best, best bro, bro ever. ever. Best engineer ever. Super fabulous. Thank you. And, you know, I, I don't know why I said that. Super, that fabulous. Super fabulous. Wow, Ryan. That's high praise. <laughs> uh, and, you know, thanks to Nolan Jeff for being great hosts and making the Strivecast what it is. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. What you said? It's fine. What's that? I said thanks to you for being a great host. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Glad you were paying attention. Who's coming up the next couple of weeks? Mary Claire. Oh, let me know it. Mary Claire. And uh, Victoria. Sometime. Yeah, sometime soon. Uh, uh, Who? Uh, um, Mary Claire. And Marie Claire. Marie Claire. And Victoria. Beckham. Yeah. Posh Secret? Spice. Victoria Justice. You know, Posh Spice is the only one not going on the reunion Spice Girl store. Yeah, that. networking. That's because she's coming to the Stripecast. Oh, right, she's booked. Yeah. Oh, she's coming to Stripecast? We've got lots oh, of great right. people we coming have up. People we have coming up from the Special Olympics. They're going to come Olympics joining Maine. us. Um, we're going to have a former MMA fighter, Alan Baruby, join us, so that's going to be really fun. Um, and we've got some really great, exciting guests coming down the pike this spring, so stay tuned. We're going to have tuned. a special, oh, special right. episode coming up for Mother's Day Mother's that you won't Day. want to miss. Do not miss the Mother's Day special. Which one is that the one with the crazy hair? Dark I don't know. I don't think spice. so. What? Okay, uh, we'll talk about the spice. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so we got a ton of great guests. You brought guests us down that road. <laughs> Sorry. We have a ton of great guests coming up on the Strivecast. Can't wait for you all to hear our spring lineup episodes. And if we, you have a suggestion for us yeah. for someone that you would like Jeff and Noel to interview, send us an email at strivecast at pslstrive.org. All Thank right. You. Anything else you guys want to add before we Happy, head out? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to who? For anyone. For anybody's birthday it is this thing. Month and next month. My birthday's this month. What what day? Let's do this later. I'll tell you, <laughs> off the air. All right. I'm falling asleep over here. Yeah, sleepy heads.
I'm not Tayo Ted. Good job. All right, let's wrap it up. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll see you next week. Out.